May I see the mic real quick? Yes. So, Jared, we're going to be interviewing Julian, J U L I E N, and the last name is spelled L E C O E U V R E from Estelia, A S T E L L I A, and he is the Chief Technology Officer. So, Julian, tell us um, why Call Trace is important and why it's getting so much popularity today. Uh, Call Trace become very important since the 4G introduction because in 4G networks you don't have any more physical interface carrying the radio information. So that's the only way to have good radio information from the 4G networks is to have those call trace activated so that you can analyze all the radio measurement and the radio behavior of the user's equipment and the networks. That's the main driver. Second driver, in fact, is due to introducing a new technology. Operators want to reduce their OPEX so that they try to rethink about their method, optimization method, so that they introduce new solutions that use those call trace in both 4G but also 3G to automatize or introduce some technology on analysis technologies so that they can reduce their cost uh, for optimization and the traditional drive tests become no uh, unuseful. So that's the second driver. Uh, Stelia has over 200 carrier customers around the world and you specialize in, in really the mobile carrier. Can you talk about some of the learnings or some of the, the specific needs that you're seeing coming out of the market today as carriers are deploying LTE, they're starting to deploy LTE Advanced, and at the same time they're looking at small cell. So what are some of the specific uh, needs that you're seeing from the market? Main market needs, you know, the market becomes saturated. You have more than 100 percentage of penetration rate, so that they are fighting hard to keep customer. So one thing very important is, for example, to reduce the churn, to better understand the usage of their customers, and make better segmentation of their clients on, on their offer. And uh, Astella play a role in this area by providing them all the network information to better understand the customer experience, the quality of experience, the usage, and better modelize their future activities and future business and offer towards those customers and keep them loyal to uh, the operator. Can you talk a bit about the, uh, the recent acquisition and why that was important to Estelia? Yes, Astelia just acquired uh, a week ago, we made the announcement, so we are proud to, to, to say that we have acquired Ingenia Telecom, a Spanish-based company uh, specialized in radio optimization. So they provide services and also software solutions for radio optimization uh, to our main uh, Spanish uh, tier 1 operator and also Latin America uh, tier 1 operators. So they provide both services to help operator optimizing the network together with Sun solutions, so self-organizing solutions uh, with automation so that they can, uh, or let's say, do these services with a minimum of, of OPEX and a maximum of results and radio uh, improvements for them. So it's a very interesting acquisition, very complementary to uh, to Astelia because they are dedicated to call trace analysis, dedicated to radio optimization, have a strong expertise in this area, built since 10 years, and have also a strong relationship with the labs of universities that provide them very interesting algorithms and advanced processing uh, uh, solutions for radio optimization. So very complementary to uh, standard RAN optimization uh, portfolio and core network monitoring of Astelia. How do you think you'll be able to take those um, algorithms and that technology from Latin America and Spain and turn into a global product? Uh, in fact, uh, there will take time to, 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 uh, to merge the company, but we are working uh, strong through this way. We have immediately a huge uh, install base by our operator. It's a domain very near to our own domain. We are RAN, RAN, Radio Access Network specialist also. So they are working very close. So it won't be a very difficult things to, to promote 
and provide to our install base the, all those uh, new offer. And from an architecture standpoint, how is uh, Astelia's traditional product deployed today? And then maybe talk about their product, how it's typically deployed, where it's deployed in the network. Uh, typically, uh, Astelia solutions are deployed in core interfaces to monitor standard circuit switch, switch uh, system and core data network plus also all the radio access network interfaces like A interface for GSM, GB for GPRS and IU for UMTS. We also have developed some solutions around radio for IUB monitoring but it becomes less and less useful since the call trace is very no uh, much more common to see and uh, less expensive to deploy. So we are much more on physical interface in the network and uh, the engineer solution so directly analyze the radio radio resource information from the RRC directly from the vendor uh, output uh, from the vendor output uh, so it's much more centralized system that massively analyze uh, all those collected trace from the vendor equipments and Astelia has uh, different location of probes from both radio access network and also core network. Yeah, final question, um, as, as carriers are experiencing some of these pain points, um, how are they looking at the, the, the uh, ROI of investing in these type of technologies and how do they view uh, payback on those investments? Is that something you can talk about? For the Coltrace uh, you are talking about? Yeah, on, the, the uh, and Global then, you know, are getting the, um, you know, at what point are they feeling so much pain where they have to make the investment? And then how are they viewing the, the, the uh, kind of rate of return and, and, and payback on that type of investment? For, is it more from a CapEx avoidance or is it from more of an OpEx reduction? We, we, we work on the both aspects. In fact, both CapEx and OpEx. CapEx because thanks to optimization, we reduce globally the investment in the network infrastructure to maximize the use of present resources. So it uh, lowers the capex. And also by uh, introducing productivity tools, we can help them to optimize their opex by providing them intelligent reports on where they have to modify the network where they have to make change because of the most impacted revenue for them, most important user impacted by issues or non-service, so that they can optimize also their OPEX, focusing also on loss of revenue and maximizing the customer satisfactions. So we introduce also methods and productivity solutions to help them reducing OPEX and focusing on the most important revenue for them so that it's uh, quite easy to uh, to understand uh, return of invest uh, for them Jorgen, thanks for your time okay thank you very much yeah i, I decided to keep one